Moving is expensive. What's up everyone? I'm Mega from Couple of Expats. Welcome to our channel where we talk about studying, working and living in Finland. We just bought our new home. We just made a video about buying a new home. And in today's video, we're talking about the costs related to buying and moving to a new home. As immigrants, the home buying process can seem pretty daunting. Um, will I get service in English? That That's something that I required. Um, how to navigate all the documents that are in Finnish. And, and a very important question is, what is all of this going to cost? And that is what we are going to talk about in this video. So let's dive right in. Now, the costs that are going to be related to the purchase of a new home is something that your bank should walk you through every step of the way. Now, when you are filling in the home loan application, also known as Asuntolaina in Finnish, you're going to have to put um, how much uh, you have saved and how much of your savings you are able to put forward as your down payment. So for a home down payment, you might be expected to put, for example, 30, 20, 10, 5 or even 0% of the asking price of the home. So in this case, we got a 0% down payment from Dodd Bank, which we did not even know was a possibility. So your down payment percentage is likely going to be the biggest percentage of money that you're going to need to save. So for example, if the house costs 200,000 and you are putting a 10% down payment, that would be 20,000 euros. Now, after that comes uh, the transfer tax. That is 1.5% of the debt-free price of the home. Um, in addition to that, you are expected to have a collateral. Um, that can be a summer cottage or your parents' home. In our case, we did not have anything to put forward as collateral, so we needed to purchase a collateral. Uh, purchasing a collateral for us cost 3,680 euros. And then in addition to that sum, it was uh, there are some fees related to the transfer of the share certificate known as the Osake Kirie and um, some other fees to the national. I don't know exactly what the name is, but we're going to put it um, up in, in the description box. But that came up to 119 euros. There is also a one time arrangement fee that the banks charge. But luckily we were we purchased the home during a time where the banks had a limited time offer of uh, a zero euro arrangement fee. And then uh, the last but not least, another fee that we had was a 270 euro bank fee for the arrangements of the share certificate from the seller to the buyer. After the buying part comes the exciting and exhausting moving part. So uh, during this time, we decided to hire a moving company and we also rent boxes from them. So we rented moving boxes from them for about 10 days time. And then uh, we also had the uh, moving company guys help us with moving our stuff from the old place to our new home. And we needed their services for approximately three and a half hours. And the cost for the moving company, along with renting the boxes, came up to 573 euros. In Finland, it's also required for professionals to be the ones that are connecting and disconnecting electrical appliances, such as your dishwasher, your washing machine. Um, otherwise, if, there, if something goes wrong, the insurances basically will not cover any damage charges. So we needed to pay to have our old uh, washing machine and dishwasher discharged, which came up to 134 euros. And installing our washing machine in the new home came to six, 62 euros. So when taking into account the price for the moving company and uh, the price for the professionals, um installing the installing and uninstalling then moving came up to 769 euros and it's also important to note that all of these costs are for moving within the same finnish city of course if you're moving from one city to another the costs will be very different so that's some something to keep in mind as well So we were interested in getting a professional's help in putting the place together, so we decided to hire an interior designer. This is of course not a must-have cost, but if you are interested in getting interior decoration help, then, uh, then we are going to share a little bit about how that process went for us. So we found a service called Claudia.fi, where we could uh, select a designer that matches our style 
the rooms in the house that we want help with, as well as um, the level of home decoration uh, or home design that we want um, for ourselves. The service that we opted for was not very conventional because the designer actually never visited the, uh, the space in person. Rather, we were uh, asked to submit the photos online as well as the floor plan and as accurate measurements as possible. So this was a little bit different, but the entire process was done online. Um, we also opted for help with, um, with our living dining area, uh, with our workroom and one of our bedrooms. And for three uh, d room designs, we spent 1,013 euros. And uh, what we received is that we got um, an initial plan uh, followed by a round of comments where we gave our input followed by the final design which contained uh, both the interior design plan that she had sketched for us as well as links to all uh, products from Nordic online stores. Uh, we have no affiliations with the company but we ha were really happy with how it turned out. Now the price was really, really reasonable for the Finnish market. This can be easily like five-fold higher, ten-fold higher. Uh, we think we got a really good price and it really also served as a very good starting point. Um, we of course could um, also not go for any of the products that she suggested, but um, we we used her plan as a starting point to get us to, to get us the home that we wanted. There might be also a bunch of other miscellaneous costs that are involved in moving. For example, for us, we were on a very tight schedule, so we decided to hire help for doing uh, basic renovations, such as installing wallpaper and painting the walls. And for this, we spent around 2,500 euros. Um, this number depends on the number of rooms you have and the, um, and the size of the area that you re require help for. And keep in mind that these numbers are before taking into account the material costs of the wallpaper and the paint itself. Other costs that might be involved are professional cleaning. If you opt to have professional cleaners clean out your old place when you're moving. Um, in this video, we did not get into the costs of, for example, furniture, appliances. There might be costs related to getting a different home insurance, electricity, um, getting an internet connection. So these all are miscellaneous costs that you should uh, remember to um, add to your expenses. Now, if you're overwhelmed by these numbers, don't be. There is always cheaper alternatives that are available. For example, if you are a student, there's usually, you can usually rent a car, um, a moving car. You can also probably find someone who is providing uh, help with moving at m a much um, cheaper price than moving companies. So if you're on a budget, be, f uh, be sure to look into those alternatives as well. So now that you have all the numbers, did buying a house and moving turn out to be more expensive or less expensive than you initially expected? Let us know. And how does that differ from where you're watching in the world right now? Um, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this gave you some insight about the costs involved in this process. Uh, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel about life in Finland. See you next time.